I was a wide-eyed soul Searching high and low Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I've just been into the DIY store to get some dust sheets and some duct tape because today I'm going to be starting, and I'm very excited about this, the garage renovation project. I'm gonna love you forever. Forever young together. The world is changing all around, but I find my solid ground. I'm gonna love you forever from now. Welcome to the garage area. This is gonna be the next big project I'm working on. I'm gonna do a full renovation of this garage area and I'm super excited. It's gonna be a garage slash workshop and it's plenty big enough. It's about eight meters by five meters. So I've got plenty of space to play with. So as you can see, this place is absolutely infested with cobwebs. So I need to sort that situation out fairly quickly but one of the things I need to do first is go through all of the stuff that was left by the previous owners and take it all out and sort through it and then I'll probably put everything in the middle of the room so I can get painting but yeah first up I need to just see what's actually in here To play God, what could I sell? quite a few things here that I'm not going to be needing so <laughs> what I'm trying to do is set up a few different piles so I've got a pile here this is a kids toy set got a little spade and watering can good fun but I don't need it this is going to go to the charity shop so I'm going to have a charity shop pile and a pile of stuff I'm going to keep and then a pile that I'm actually going to throw away these will actually come in so useful. Just boxes and boxes of clear jars for like canning and stuff like that. Definitely be keeping them. So I've just found on this shelf some olives that must have been from the olive trees here that they've cured in this jar and some cherry liquor as well. So obviously we have a huge amount of cherry trees on the property so if you subscribe right now and like this video and leave a comment maybe in the next video I'll try one of these olives and have a shot of this cherry liquor. Someone's welded their own hammer. <laughs> So I've just taken down all of this astro turf and a pool ladder. Obviously this went around the pool in the summer to create a nice environment. Definitely think I can reuse this for something.
So I've nearly taken all of the shelving down. I've just got these two shelves left. And the reason I'm taking them down is because I need access to the wall to paint it. But also I'm gonna be building all of my own shelving in here. You can see this shelving is beyond its time. It's all warped and bent. So I've just taken down the last shelf and I can't believe what I've found. There's poo here that is massive. This is not a rat, I don't believe, because it's just huge. I don't know what's been living up here, but whatever it is, I don't want to come face to face with it. So the time has now come. I've just set up the scaffold. I'm ready to go higher up towards the roof rafters and clean off all of the cobwebs. It's gonna be a messy job. I need to put a mask on, gloves on, and just get at it. Best I can do now Just walk away from myself I feel conveyed in me Left on the shelf So as always, this is taking much longer than I thought it would and it's much harder because there's so many cobwebs and this is rough sawn timber so all of the cobwebs are just getting stuck on the roughness of the timber making it really difficult to sweep it off so what I'm going to do is I'm doing a pass with the brush. I've got this extendo brush and then I've got a hard brush and they're both working really well together. And then I'll probably go over it eventually with a hoover. But for now, I'm just getting the main cobwebs well out the way, brushing down all of the walls will be next on the agenda. And then hopefully I can start painting. I'm very nearly there. I've probably got another three or four rafters to do. And then the roof. I wouldn't say it's cobweb free, but it's definitely so much better than it was a couple of hours ago. The weather has taken an absolute turn for the worse, but as you guys know, I've spent every single day on our new property fixing problems since we had the wildfires and the flooding. Thankfully, Athletic Greens has stayed part of my daily routine as a really easy way to look after myself. One scoop of AG1 mixed with eight ounces of water supplies you with 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Being so easy to make has meant we've kept up the habit of drinking AG1 every single day for a year, and now we're really feeling the benefits. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, paleo, keto, low calorie, and less than one gram of sugar per serving. 
Using AG1 means you don't need to store numerous vitamins and mineral supplements as well as buy fresh ingredients to get your recommended daily intake. Athletic Greens is going to give our community an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you need to do is click the link in our description or head to athleticgreens.com forward slash the indie projects. That's not a job I want to do again anytime soon. Next I'm onto the walls. Drove across the Natchez Bridge today. You opened up the door. Had to be wondering what's this hand of hope. He gave us both a heart attack like you do most every day. Lord knows we wouldn't have it any other way. So now the garage is completely empty, clean, I've sweeped it all. It's time to pull out the big guns. I got the air compressor here with the blower on the end so I can blow all the remaining dust off the walls so that when I add the paint there's nothing lingering so I better get to it because it's going to be a messy job. He gave us both a heart attack like you do most every day Lord knows we wouldn't have it any other way Hey rivers, oh rivers, you're a George tornado, rivers, just like your name, you're making your way back home. So I'm excited to get painting because I have brought the Wagner Control Pro 250R. I'm super excited to see how this performs because I watched loads of videos and reviews on YouTube and everyone absolutely loved it. This is going to speed things up when it comes to painting so much because I've got the garage to paint, I've got the whole house to paint, I've got the entrance to paint, I've got so many things to paint so this is going to come in very useful. This space feels absolutely massive now. There's nothing in here and it's nice and clean. As you can see, I've masked off both windows and I've masked off from the wall plate up a couple of feet to the rafters so I don't get any overspray on the rafters because I love the way the wooden rafters look. And it's nearly time to get painting. just having a two minute break. This device, this paint sprayer is an absolute game changer. I cannot imagine having to use a roller or a brush on this kind of block where they flick cement onto the wall and it's really rough. 
This sprayer is getting into all of the areas. It is sucking through paint, so I'm not sure whether I'll be able to get a first coat on the entire garage because it is a big place and I'm already down to probably three quarters of the paint gone. But you can see behind me what a transformation already and that's just with the first coat. So that's another wall done. I just completed the gable end. I got a little bit of paint left, so I'm gonna move on to the other gable end, see how far I get today. I know I keep saying it, but this device, absolute game changer. I just can't imagine using anything else. You are weary, I will stand for you. Your knees are weak, oh, I will stand for you now. I'll stand with you now And when you feel that no one can hear you Cause everything you know has come crashing down I hear you now I'm with you now I managed to do the bottom half of the second gable, which is really good, but just look behind me, look around. It's freshened it up so nice. I'm hoping that I can get away with just doing one more coat after that and that'll be sufficient. A lot of it is gonna be covered in shelves, but one thing I'm really excited about is the lighting design in here. I'm gonna go for LED lights, big soft panels if I can get them, and it will just brighten this area up and just be a place where I wanna spend time because this is where I'm gonna be spending a lot of time building stuff. When I'm renovating the stone house on this property, I'm gonna need a good base to work out of. And now I've got the arduous task of cleaning the device. So I've just packed everything away. The UTV is now in the garage. Cleaning out the spray device was a bit of a faff, but so worth it for how quickly you can actually put the paint on the walls, especially because they're such rough walls with flick cement all over them. But I'm so happy with how it's looking. It's just already transforming the space. It's gonna be such a lovely workshop when I've finished with it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and catch me on the next one to see how this workshop develops.